Hi, welcome to All Things Good. A big thank you to all my subscribers for watching my videos. Uh, if you like this video, please click like, share and subscribe. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a massage balm for deep tissue massage. Uh, you're going to need four ingredients, uh, at least this recipe is with four ingredients. It's with beeswax, coconut oil, uh, I'm using extra virgin olive oil, and I'm using some um, essential oil blend. This is a relaxation blend. It's got lavender, bergamot, geranium, marjoram, and cedarwood. So it's already uh, pre-mixed up, and it is absolutely fantastic. It's wonderful. Now, you can vary this recipe by uh, changing the essential oil or just leaving it out entirely. You can also use uh, other oils besides olive oil like extra virgin olive oil. You don't have to mix the oils, you can simply just make it if you've got allergies with coconut oil and beeswax, or you can just make it with uh, olive oil and beeswax. Now the reason why um, beeswax is particularly good is because it adds a little bit of traction, a little bit of grip, and um, the oil just doesn't soak into the person where you're constantly adding loads and loads of oil uh, onto the person's body, and you can actually get deeper without slipping off the person's body. So after many years of doing uh, sports injuries and, and health signs, uh, I developed my own recipe. And it's basically a massage balm that's thickened with uh, beeswax. So the recipe that we're going to make, and you can vary this according to the thickness uh, that you enjoy or that you, that you get the most amount of traction, is one part beeswax to five parts of oil with some extra essential oil. What I'm doing here is I'm recycling a glass jar that I'm going to be putting my uh, my massage balm into. And this uh, previously was a container that had um, had a candle in it. So you recycle your containers uh, rather than throw them away. And, you know, I'm only going to be making a small amount uh, because I like to make it regularly. And we're going to use a microwave or you can use a bain-marie to make it. So let's start getting into it. So the first thing I do is I just switch on my... Um, scales, take my trusty knife, tire it out on the scale, and let's cut. So it's like one, one to five, one to six parts. Um, we're going to take 15 grams. I think that should be fine. Oh, I'm nearly there. So 15 grams of beeswax, and then we're going to take 75 grams of oil roughly. So we've got 15 grams, and what I'm going to do just to make this for brevity's sake, is I'm going to heat the whole thing up. Uh, it, just, it just makes it a lot easier. So let's tar that out, and let's add 75 grams of, of, uh, of oil. So I'm going to take 30 grams of um, coconut. We've got 35, 75 grams in total. Okay, there we go. So that's all what it is. So now I've got five parts of oil for one part of beeswax. And we're going to heat this up in the microwave. So here we are at the microwave. Now this is going to get extremely hot, so you don't want to do this around children and you want to make sure that you have a tea towel to handle this. So it's going to get very very hot and we're going to stop it, we're going to give it a little bit of a stir after about 20 seconds. Um, like I said the beeswax melts extremely quickly, it's all of a sudden it just melts. We're going to give it a stir and we're going to add some essential oil into it. So let's just have a look now, it's just over 20 seconds. Let's stop, let's have a look. It's going to start to get very, very hot soon. And it's just starting to melt. I'm not sure how long it will take, maybe a minute or two. So I'm just going to pause the video and, and let it go. So this is coming up to one minute now. Okay, it's starting to get hot. We can see the built beeswax is not yet melted, but the oil is starting to get quite warm, and it's just starting to melt. 
Now remember if you cut the beeswax into smaller pieces it will melt far more quickly. I just put a big chunk in there so it will melt and make sure you handle it with a tea towel. Okay so it's been exactly one minute and a half and we're just going to take it out. It's very hot, just be careful. Take your tea towel. Let's give it a bit of a stir. And that chunk of beeswax is melting now. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, let's move back to our chopping board area. So here we are now with our um, with our massage balm, and it's been melted and it's been I've stirred it, and I'm just going to now add my rest and serenity. Um, relaxation uh, essential oil and the essential oil is beautiful it's got lavender bergamot uh, geranium marjoram and cedarwood and it, it smells fantastic for this amount I'm going to be adding about 10 to 15 drops so let's just add that now one two three four five six seven eight nine roughly about ten now that's heaps and we're just going to give that a stir so it's going to be well mixed and it will smell fantastic now, again, if you have any skin issues or irritation issues, or you're using this professionally, um, don't add the essential oil. Uh, or add the essential oil and ask, the, ask your customers whether they'd like this um, smell and if they have any sensitivities or allergies to the oil. That smells good. And uh, I'm growing a moustache for November. So let's wait now until that sets and come back and I'll show you what it looks and feels like. It's a thick balm and it's um, very lubricating and the, the, the balm is designed to get really, really deep into the tissues, to do real deep tissue work. And uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't just uh, slide off like oil and it doesn't get absorbed so quickly. Now when you finish the massage, it's good to use some paper towel or something or or just use a, a towel to rub the client or to rub your partner or whoever you're massaging just to remove some of that waxy film that, that could be left on their skin if they don't like that but again it's beneficial for the skin it's low allergenic and it has many wonderful properties so we've just come back and found our balm it has finally started to solidify now you can change the recipe if you don't like the balm to be so solid uh, you can add, for example, one part beeswax to, you know, 10 parts uh, coconut oil or olive oil or macadamia oil or avocado oil. Personally, I like extra virgin olive oil and coconut oil as a combination. It works really well. It smells wonderful and fantastic, especially with the essential oil that I've put in. So this balm is designed to be a thick balm, uh, concentrating... Um, concentrated for myofascial and deep tissue releases so it still hasn't fully cooled down but I'm just going to show you what the balm looks like once it's solid so this is what the balm looks like once it's solid um, and then when you put it in your hands it forms a very waxy lubricating um, and uh, it has a good amount of friction on it like you won't slide off somebody so this is designed for slow and deep tissue work and it smells wonderful it's terrific for the skin and so you can begin to really work into the muscles and into doing some really nice myofascial some deep tissue work with this balm and it won't just disappear and you'll constantly have to add coconut or macadamia oil or other massage balms. This is really the one-stop shop for all massage. Uh, and this is the way you make the very best massage balm. And out of you know many years of research and trialing and testing other methods, this is what you want. So thank you for watching All Things Good. Uh, if you like the video, please click like, share and subscribe. And that's how you make your own deep tissue massage balm.